let's talk about the but well, let's say more about the homework which all of us completely dived into this week yeah i've definitely seen the match sure mm -hmm. I'm, i think i'm pretty sure i bought the pay-per-view um back in 2007 I, yeah, i'm much. pretty sure i watched this pay-per-view at my buddy justin's house tna <laughs> That's not somebody that's in AEW now, is it? No, that's the other guy. As far as I know. As far as you know. I, who knows anymore, right? Like, hey, who, who knows what Justin's up to these days? <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a joke I'm missing or... Justin TV, so you remember? Oh, oh, right. Justin's house. <laughs> I think we're broadcasting from Justin's house, actually, now. Yeah. If, you, if you track that lineage. So, yeah, Justin's house is the Thunderdome. Yeah, it's, it's the purposes. Thunder W. It kind of is, right? But the homework we go, we go all the way back to TNA Wrestling Genesis two thousand. Oh, let me say the thing, Mike. Sorry. Genesis. Not <laughs> all of us have a groan worthy reaction to this match. These are fine. These are these are fond memories, especially Sorry. of the early days of this very show. We were Sorry, all about heard of what was happening. What have you heard of Pavlov's dog? Pavlov. Pavlov's dog. Oh, oh, that's where the groans come that, in. We, that's we where the groan. It's it. That's right. It's instinctual. I'm sorry, I can't control. I, I know, I know. We've had it's, very it's, different. It's TNRS. We've had very different personal interactions with 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 Impact Wrestling. I get it. Yes, we have. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, but anyways, aside from that, trying to put the put the, aside the point where Mad Mike has been blocked by Impact Wrestling for years. Um, so it was Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle. The first meeting, Samoa Joe is coming off of, I think they say, 17 months yep. of being undefeated. Yep. yep. This is the big one. Angle came over. Of course, you know, disclaimer, Angle was let go from WWE for his pill problem. Um, but, uh, amongst other things, amongst other things. So, but you know, you can't, you can't, you know, whether you should or shouldn't have is in our discussion. But uh, he was still putting away killer matches in, uh, 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 in TNA wrestling, especially in the early days here with Samoa Joe. This was the come up. This was the discovery of Samoa Joe for a lot of us over these couple of years uh, with TNA wrestling. So, uh, BC, I know you you fresh and you said you watched this twice, I think, right? Yeah, I this watched week. it Friday and I actually watched a little bit of it today. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, what, what were your first impressions on this one? Uh, my first impressions were that is how you build a match mm -hmm. uh, leading up to it. You have a guy who is a known superstar putting on amazing matches, is over. People want to see him. They're excited about him in Kurt Angle. And then you have a guy that just hasn't lost. So the question is, who's going to win? And even if you think you know who's going to win, how are they going to win? Where is this going to go? And the match I mean, it, it opens up early on. Joe's got Angle on the outside. He's beating him down. He busts him open. So it sets the tone that, yeah, uh, if you're the, if this is your first time watching this, we've told you Samoa Joe is undefeated. We've shown you now that Samoa Joe is a badass who has Kurt Angle down early on. Mm -hmm. And then as the match goes through, Angle gets a little bit of a comeback. Joe takes over. A little bit more Joe takes over. And then even in the end where he does tap out, which is important because somebody has to tap out eventually. That's how you make finishes and submissions mean something. But Joe doesn't lose anything. Joe doesn't lose any points. It's his first loss. Uh, he immediately wants a rematch. So uh, he's, he's not, you know, cowering in fear or what have you. And I would say that reminds me of what TNA was that during that, that period of, I don't know, four or five, it could be, four years it could be eight years i don't know the time frame but amazing matches really really good simple booking and then there is the opposite end of that where you're like uh wpf which i'm sure mike <laughs> if, if you haven't seen mad mike and shirley doe reviews of impact you should because it brings <laughs> back some some memories and some twitches and ptsd perhaps but mm. But that is a snapshot of when TNA was like, wow, these guys are firing on not all cylinders, but at least a cylinder that is kind of hard to beat. Yeah. Because I don't think WWE was putting that out at that time. No. I can't think like, of it. Like, TNA occasionally, TNA was like a car in the Fast and Furious. Normally, it's just a normal car that goes at that a fairly high velocity. Occasionally, they hit the Nas. And the Nas is like your, 
your Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle. Yeah. Your uh, your Ultimate X matches. Your Angle Daniels and Joe match. Like right. occasionally they hit the Nas at that point. But need I remind you the match that happened right before this one? Abyss won the world title on a disqualification. So you know, <laughs> give and take. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, certainly. It, certainly. It take. And, and also, well, remember the time. I think. I think we're we're talking. You know, mid two thousands. Ruthless aggression. WWE. And I'm sure the complaint about WWE at the time was too much John Cena falling and into PG era. falling PG rolling into PG area era. Although they were just doing a radar superstar live sex celebration probably the same month this happened. Yep. So remember that. Uh, so they had. But sword, they, they sword, hadn't fully... the That's always right. So it was all PG. What? The internet's always right, so it was all PG. Okay, except for the time we saw Lita's boob. You know? Yes. So, so, that. so, like, but they were they were rolling into like like Raw and SmackDown had been set as that formula, and maybe not nothing tremendously exciting was happening there. Um, in comparison, I mean, you know, maybe akin to what, what's happening today. Um, although I feel like today is duller, maybe because we're in it. I don't know. Um, but. It, TNA was truly bring, doing the alternative, bringing in the guys that we were excited about, and we would, you know, uh, uh, lunchbox on the show was was like, if you heard about the Samoa Go, Joe guy in uh, in uh, Ring of Honor and AJ Styles and all these kinds of things, so we were being introduced to these things, um, you know, and it was the next generation. Obviously, all these guys <laughs> practically um, have had WWE careers and championships, you know, since um, for the most part. Um, you know, especially AJ Styles, you know, Joe, et cetera. But um, yeah, this was, yeah, this is peak. This is, this is like the, this is the match when I say about like what was great about uh, mid 2000s TNA, like this is it. Like this is, this is, this is the pinnacle of that, you know, and, it, and, and, you know, and even at the time, I think Genesis the year before, oh, I'm sorry, this is November. So this is later in the year than yeah. I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah. You would think Genesis would be at the start of the year, right? but it is TNA. I think it's called Turning Point. Uh, it's the one at the beginning of the year for some reason. Um, but, oh, that's right. They were all Genesis songs or Phil Collins songs, weren't they? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget. Uh, um, TNA is hungry T like the wolf. TNA presents Sue Sue Studio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. uh, to be fair, if TNA did Sue Sue Studio and they used um, the Dexter Loomis, what was the name in TNA? Sebastian Shaw? No. Something Shaw, right? Yes, uh, Sebastian Shaw, you're right. Sam uh, Shaw. Sam, Sam Shaw. Shaw. Sebastian Shaw, Shaw. If they plays used him for Susu Studio promos, I'd be in. <laughs> Sebastian Shaw is the one that plays Winter Soldier, I believe. So, <laughs> This is Susudio. <laughs> like he, he just says it while Christy Hemi's sitting in the chair. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, but yeah, th I mean, this match was good. It, it was, it's a very good match. It's, it's Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. Watching this match in a vacuum is absolutely fine. I remember watching this live and was afraid I was going to see a man die in the ring. Okay. Because it's Kurt Angle. Okay. And WWE had just let Kurt Angle go to go to rehab to work on his problems and to heal himself. And this is also vintage TNA. They took advantage of that and signed him immediately and put him in a main event match. Right. The thing that maybe you shouldn't be doing if you're trying to deal with the problems that have been led to from your professional yes. wrestling career. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you give and take. It, it's it's much easier to watch this match back in a vacuum, now knowing both guys are okay. But to watch this one live, I, I was not a fan of it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was, because I, it wasn't, it wasn't anything about the program, wasn't anything about the booking, wasn't anything about any of that. It was just I didn't want to see Kurt Angle on my TV because I was afraid he was going to die in the ring. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> it was, it, it was definitely a you shouldn't be in here, but God, you're just you're delivering some fantastic matches. I remember was the conflict when we were watching. You know, it and of wasn't course, a conflict for me. It was a conflict right, right. for you. Oh, okay, <laughs> well, I, I can I think. I think that could be said uh, just from a lot of talent over the years, yeah. especially further back when it was the whole, we have to, we have to go, we have to do this and, and, right. you know, screw tomorrow. It's about uh, today. I mean, there is a little bit like you do understand that professional wrestling isn't the safest uh, activity 
to uh, make a profession out of. Like you don't say. I worry about everybody, uh, right, Ronnie? So <laughs> I mean, when, and 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 I, I mean, I have a presumption that half the people I see have some sort of issue that maybe they shouldn't be in there at this point. So like that, you know, I'm you know, that's that's professional wrestling, unfortunately, right? So, but anyways, aside from that, Ronnie, what were your thoughts on this match? Your memories of it. Uh, my memories of it, I remember when Kurt Angle came in. I remember when Samoa Joe headbutted the shit out of him. It was the ta- it was the go-home show before the actual match. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it headbutts the shit out of him, busts his head open, and they brawl. So I'm like, oh, it's going to be great. You know, Kurt Angle's here. And this is this is the time where I was like, well, early, early 2000s. Like, what year was that? This, this was 2006. This November, 2006? November 2006. Okay, so this was a year before I got actually started training to get into wrestling. So I was still, you know, I was still fucking Mark. So I was like, oh, I'm like, this is great. So I never had the the concept of like, oh, Kurt Angle's fucked up. You know, I, I never thought of that. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, they're going to put on great matches. It's fantastic. I, I remember it was a great match. I don't know why I thought Samoa Joe won. But uh, I guess because Kurt- maybe he should have. Yeah, right. But, yeah, you can make that argument. But we did. We were leading into a good, like I think, trilogy of matches that was that was pretty fantastic. And I mean, the feud overall, I mm-hmm. thought, was tremendous. But you know, so. Kurt Angle made Kurt Angle tap out, so it was yeah. a good match. <laughs> uh, we I have. Mean, I was ahead. half right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we have some comments uh, actually over on the YouTube. Antonio Garza of the Wrestling Revolution dot com. Uh, first of all, you lost me at Seth Green from earlier. Uh, TNA he's still, best. He's still a celebrity. TNA best promotion ever, second to AGPW. Oh, God. Garza! <laughs> Crazy that a promotion first TNA. All, all right, so sorry, they, is so, he trolling you right now? Sorry, real, <laughs> Crazy real that a promotion about, TNA turned into Impact and got even better. Uh, real talk. Real talk about me for a second. <laughs> I spent. I was. I had today off. I spent today. I spent today at my mom's waiting for something to be installed because she you know she needs a little help around the house. Um, they canceled the installation. So do you know what I did all day, Sorg? Hmm. I put together furniture, and I just straight up watched season one of Lucha Underground. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Like, I, I watched uh, about ten episodes of Lucha so... Underground while I was putting things together and fixing stuff around right, the house. Right, right. Holy shit, that show is good. Yes, yes. And and <laughs> I'll, I'll save the what I learned for, for okay. when we get to that. Uh, Garza has a lot, actually, over on the food. Oh. 